all right what is going on guys in this video we're gonna go over how to beat the bird beast team now what are we going against today guys we're going against a bird backdoor 61 speed absolutely scary to go against the beast 47 speed with the zero cost card very scary in this season and of course the plants ivory chop to get your cards a rare 160 80 plus 80 card and vegetable very scared to go against what is our scholar using today we're watching one of our scholars zek chu been here for about a month absolutely tearing it up he has a back door he has a beast in the back a little different hair you know to get a little draws a lot of damage here 59 morale and egg bomb to get rid of those aquas and of course outplays you have here a nice little plant notice this plant here gravel ant with prickling trap very scary to go against and another damage plant here so the first thing that i would say is in games like this identify your threat who's a threat and of course the biggest threat here is this guy this guy is absolutely scary because in your lineup back doors are very scary to go against so the way to win this one right off the bat is you need to use your beast cards as soon as possible because your beast there is zero chance your beast is making it past round three or four especially because they have all out shot here so let's see what zek chu does i would say use your all three of these beast cards as soon as you can let's see what he does so again round two you don't necessarily have to use your Round one, you don't necessarily have to use your beast cards. And that, of course, is because in round one, um, they're probably not going to have their bird combo, right? Typically, you know, the bird card combo is ready or the beast cards combo is ready is when they pass round one. However, they did steal an energy, which is always bad. Um, Egg Bomb would have been nice first round. Just playing all three of these cards would have still been somewhat nice because you're going to get your card draw. The plant is going to do all the damage to the beast. And this guy's going to stay alive a bit. But now you're able to get your full burst on. So let's see what happens here. So the good thing about them not using all of their cards first round from their beast is now you know you're in a situation where they used a lot of their cards already. I don't know if this guy has the juice to kill you. He does have the these cards here, but realistically, I don't know if he has the juice to kill you. It might be worth the risk. But of course, look at this perfect combo. Round three or four, your beast just doesn't have the juice. And now in your situation where this situation right here is all about one thing, the 1v2 when is this guy gonna drop the egg bomb that's all you're playing for when is he gonna drop the egg bomb 1v1 because this guy has nut throw you're in a situation where you're probably gonna lose that's 320 damage when two of them are played together you have enough energy to win this but you need the card draws so what does he do here the gravelant i think is the right choice you just saw them use a bunch of cards here so they could have egg bomb but they could not also, you know they just played a bunch of bird cards. They probably have some beast cards. The scary part here is, what do you play here, right? <laughs> um, I would almost say you have to almost go with zigzag, zigzag, mint, gravelance. Because you're not gonna probably get a chance to use zigzag again. Yikes, yeah. That's what probably what you have to do here. Let's see what they do. So again, I, I still like this move because if they used Egg Bomb, you'd have taken out their bird, which is why I like it. And you're able to get a little health here. At this point, if they're counting energy, which again, this part of the game is really hard to count energy. Um, if you're counting energy at this point in the game, you know they have no energy, but the scary thing about going against this bird, beast bird team is this guy has this zero cost card, which means he can play three cards and do a bunch of damage. 
This guy also has a zero cards card, so he can play three cards and do a bunch of damage. The good news about going against a bird in the end game like this is they know they have a bunch of little owls in their hand. Because of that, they are actually more compromised than it feels like they are when you're playing against them. So in this situation, you have a bunch of energy. You almost have to expect the egg bomb is gonna happen here. So how do you play against the egg bomb is a million dollar question. I think again, the same combo, zigzag, prickling, numbing. You also have to do the calculator math to make sure it works out. So that's around 170 to birds. This will be around 250 plus numbing. I don't think the bird survives that, but let's see what happens here. So I probably want the mints at the end, not at the beginning. And that's because if the bird goes in last stand here, which again is very likely to happen. Um, <laughs> if they go in last stand here, you're in a situation where the bird is gone and look at that, they're in that last stand. The good news somewhat is maybe this bird has a bad hand and again, you're stopping the mech from drawing a lot of cards. So that might be part of the play. However, the bird is likely, if they have enough energy, to either use an all-out shot or a blackmail. But again, this might be a 5,000 IQ move because if this guy has four cards here, right? If he has four cards, it's going to be very hard to survive that compared to if their cards are split up here. So Simzeki says, yeah, I've been in a situation. They went in last stand. Shahadin says, boss, I'm going to sleep. Shahadin, thank you so much for rocking with us. Lil Softy says, round two is a threat for his beast. His mid lane is awesome. Oh, yeah, his mid lane is insane. So now after looking at this play, I think I like, I like this situation. There's been so many times when I've played the bird and you get rid of the bird and all of a sudden this guy just breaks through anything you're doing. I think most combinations of two cards, the beast gets rid of you. He'll be able to play three cards, but let's see what happens here. So in this situation, you have to go for gold. So you have to go mint, mint, zigzag, prickling, numbing. You almost have to play it. There's like, there's nothing you can. Notice how he plays mint first and then zigzag. Yeah, you have to do that. That's the only thing you can do here. So, luckily, <laughs> luckily survives and notice how it does 171 damage. They didn't get any crits and that's because he's only at 42 morale. Um, Again, in this situation, there's a good chance that Simzeki doesn't know for sure what the energy count of his opponent is. Because of that, this could be a good situation, leaving the bird alive and, you know, allowing the bird to get that all-out shot off. You know, it could be a good situation because, again, if this beast has an extra energy instead of not an extra one, that's a good night to you. And the beast did have its most powerful combo, but still was not enough to get rid of him. And this is the scary part of the game. Is this enough damage to get rid of the beast? Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> and just like that, wins with 66 HP in a dream, a fantastic game. Oh my God, Sim Zeki showing you how it gets done. So again, this was one of the worst matchups for this double plant team to go against the beast bird team. But what did they really happen and how did they really win this? Identifying the threat, knowing the beast and birds outplays that they're gonna go for. And that's how Simzeki was able to get this one through. A fantastic game and I look to seeing more. Guys, if you like videos like this where I break down how to beat each type of Axie team, let me know in the comments below. But we, Flight Crew, have to take off. We're gonna keep rocking on Twitch, but on YouTube, 
we're gone if you like videos like this and you want more make sure to join the discord it's in the comments in the description and we'll see you next time